Well, many teachers are missing out on the chance to say see you next year to their students, but for one local teacher, she won't have a chance to say her goodbyes. Here, we want to introduce you to the woman who spent decades teaching and is now finally hanging up her badge. Let's count. One, two, three, four. That's how many decades Ms. Prather has been teaching for. 41 years to be exact, and this year she decided to call it a career. 66, it's time. Throughout her time teaching, she has been able to become a part of families. For some, she taught their parents years ago, and years later began teaching their children. Many, because like I said, I've been teaching 41 years, so in the private sector, there's been a lot of children that I had that now I have their children. And then I've had, you know, their siblings and then all their siblings' children too. So it's time to get out before, I be, before I'm teaching the grandchildren. <laughs> she believes teaching isn't a single person job. It takes a community. Once you reach the parent, then you're able to reach the child. And having the parents involved and seeing that they are actually their child's first and best teacher makes the year much easier. Now, this isn't how she envisioned the end of her teaching career. It's, it's very difficult. Um, I'm doing what's called class dojo, and I, I upload things for them to do on the computer, and their parents show them how to do it. And then the parents will send me pictures and videos of what the children are doing. So I get to see them, and then I also post them so that other kids can see each other. But she has enjoyed all of the memories along the way. I love watching them learn and the, the different interactions and the things that we're able to do in preschool that you're not. She has some advice for anyone who may follow in her footsteps. If you're going into early childhood development, just remember it's not about paperwork. It's about having fun, letting the children explore and find what interests them and find what interests you and go for it. Ms. Prather's final day will be June 10th. After that, she plans on taking a step back and relaxing. She plans on traveling once she is given the green light.